Okay, I don't know what... I don't know what happened. I'm so sorry about that. Sorry. So sorry. I don't, I don't know what the fuck just happened. Let's try it again. Let's see. Let me grab Alyssa again. I'm so sorry. I don't know what the fuck just happened. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. I don't I don't know what happened. Like, fucking Instagram for you, man. Um, I don't know what's happened. Okay. Alyssa, can you request? There you go. Okay. I don't know what happened. This, hi, Brittany. I know this. I know this is not acting up. Now, we were doing perfectly fine. We've been doing good for weeks. What is happening? I just had to accept Alyssa. That was oh. weird. I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. I don't know. Um, it like just said it ended. That was so weird. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm the type of person where, like, where everyone leaves, I kind of like, all right, I'm going to start drinking now, you know, just because I like to make sure everything's in order, everyone's having a good True, time. that is you. I am a very good host, so I was turning up at, like, 2 a.m. while everybody oh, else. Not, no, oh, me, we get into the bar. Thankfully, the line to the bar was so long, but thankfully, we knew one of the bouncers that was off that night and got us in through the back, and we get there, and I'm like, damn, it's 1030. I still got an hour and a half. Like, I was like, what are we going to do for an hour and a half? And then, and my friends are the same way. And then as soon as it hit midnight, we all looked at each other. We were like, um, all right, should we go? <laughs> <laughs> and I even worked out in the morning. I wasn't going to go, but my trainer texted me the, we were outside at this, um, one like trail and we were doing like running uphill and he texted yeah. me in the morning, the address. And he was like, no excuses. And I was like, all right. Oh my God. So I did hung over. I, I did not puke. Oh, I'm proud of you. You're sticking to your goals. I love that. I hope everyone's sticking to their goals. Hello to everyone who is here. Brett, Brittany, everyone. Hello to everyone that is here. Welcome to the BBC. Um, my name is uh, Derek F. And, and I am Alyssa. Hi, Alyssa. Oh, I have another question for you. What's the deal with you and Snoop Dogg? I, I thought I told you about that. You did you record for him? So I went to school for video production. So yeah. I used to work for a fishing apparel company and did their videography. And my professor at my college was like, hey, I need another um, freelancer. Can you work? It's going to be a Snoop Dogg um, Hard Rock Casino event. And right beforehand, before he performed, my professor was like, hey, I'm going to have you go up there because there was like six other videographers that were allowed on stage. And they were like, right. basically, he, you were going to film him coming up and then he wants everyone off the stage. So I go up, I go up there and then the bounce, his bodyguard was like, all right, everyone, everyone off, everyone off to leave. And then he goes, looks at me and goes, no, she can stay. And I was the only one allowed to be on stage with him. And I was literally like this close to him, the whole performance. Wow. And I just filmed him, got the dopest content. And even the people at Hard Rock were like, she needs to come down. And the bodyguard was like, no, he wants her up there. And then he was so nice. He literally looked right at me. He was like, hey, girl. And I was like, hi, can we take a photo? He's like, yeah, of course. And we took a He was so nice. Oh, it was dope. I it was dope. Love that. It was cool. I filmed, I filmed Polly D before for the Hard Rock. Because after that, they wanted me again because the fact that I got all that footage. So I filmed um, Polly D at, what is it called? The candy, the candy one bar. What is it called? Oh my God, I should know this. Anyways, it was a bar in the casino and I filmed him and I met him. He was a little more like, not as like bubbly as Soup Dog, but he was yeah. still nice. Oh, oh, listen, next time you're uh, <laughs> working these exclusive events, sound I'll like the great, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. <laughs> I, like think, you I thought I was going to have to come off, down. So it was I got a cool. mic. <laughs> I was like, I got to bring my co host with me. So. <laughs> Yeah, at this point, I don't see one. Sugar Factory, yes. Yeah, someone just answered it. It was Sugar Factory is where I oh, filmed okay. Polly D. Okay. Are you not drinking? I, I did make myself a glass of no, wine. No, I can only drink one night a week. 
Is that your, is that, what are some of your New Year's resolutions? Uh, so some of my goals, yeah, because we haven't talked about our goals. Um, I can't really say all of them, but you know what one of them is. Mm -hmm. Um, just to go to the gym, at least I go to CrossFit every morning. So I wake up at awesome. 445. Wake up at 445. I go, yeah, I'm back to it. Wake up at 445, go to CrossFit. Then when I get done to make sure I'm holding Adam accountable because we're also trying to train together in case, you know, things come about. Um, That's good, though, for, like, you guys to have each other to bounce back and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Then we go to um, Planet Fitness together. Um, and then um, those are really my main goal. My main goal is to get myself – because my thing is that my mind is good confidence-wise. Mm -hmm. Um, mentally, but I need to make sure physically I like I'm confident because I want to. I'm looking at my health. I'm looking at everything else. I want to make sure I'm the best me I can be. That's um, awesome. Just because of the fact that also I want to be ready for any opportunities in the future. You know, I would love to do the challenge. Of course, I just want to be. I don't want. I don't want me being a big guy to hold me back from going back on TV. And right now, that's what's going through my mindset. Um, I feel like because I'm a big guy, I'm not going to get the opportunity to go back on reality TV, and I don't want that to happen. So I'll right. do, do get myself in shape for my health, also for myself, but also just to be able to be like, look, I'm a big dude, but at least if somebody was like, I need you to run five miles, I could run five miles. If I need to hit somebody, I can. No, I know you can too. So, right. so I just want to. I want to be a better me. So that is my goal. While I have the free time, because I'm jobless right now, looking for a job, hopefully something part-time, full-time, I don't know, something I can work remote so I can continue yeah. doing our social media stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but that's it right now. How about you? Me? I want to get back into, I feel like since I've been back still, I yeah. don't have that, like, designated routine that I oh I'm always on a schedule and I like it being more organized so I'd like to get back into that I am going back to my trainer who I've known since 11th grade of yeah. high school guy I remember this I remember yeah this. so I'm working out with him about four times a week um mm -hmm. and he's helping me a lot and what I need to work on is my mental strength where like I need to push myself and not just give up easily and work on my cardio and stuff. So I'm going to him four times a week. Oh, and wow. that's that's really about it. I'm just I'm wanting to get back into the the weight I was at because I lost a lot of weight yeah. from the show and the stress after the show. So yeah. I'm almost I'm actually almost at the weight I was at before the show, but I want to even build a little bit more. So Yeah. Well, I definitely I'm here for it and I'm holding you accountable. You know I'm good. I'm going. I am going. I was hung over as shit. And he <laughs> trains he trains high school football players and then and football players that come back into town yeah. during the holidays that are at college. And two of them were puking. But Alyssa? Not puking like day one. Look at that. Not puking like day one. No more. <laughs> I think this is the top. I think I think people I think this is the time, and I I definitely relate to you on that, and we could talk about this all night. We can't because we have SB. Yeah. But the thing about it, I definitely relate to you as a routine and schedule because I feel like when we got done doing Big Brother, it was like I'm so all, bad. I, literally, all over the place. My friend texted me about grabbing dinner, and I was like, yeah, of course, on Saturday night. And she yeah. was like, tomorrow. For some reason, I'm thinking Monday. I had, I had a birthday dinner on Sunday night. And then she texted me, hey, we still on for tonight? I'm like, oh, my God, I am so sorry. I, I'm just all over the place, but I'm getting better. Which is good, which is good. And that's all, it's one step at a time. Today was my, I mean, of course I got cravings today, but then it kind of went, went away once I started drinking water. Um, but I could definitely tell this is going to be a emotional, tough journey. Um, mm -hmm. Just because of the fact that, you know, before when I went through training, I did not have to worry about this social media, the fans, everything else. Like, I was able to disappear and not have to worry about that, where mm -hmm. I can't disappear. Like, I want to, but I can't because that's my lifestyle now. That's also my income. That's my way of yeah. sure I'm continue doing what I'm supposed to be doing. And I'm like... <sighs> but you can, all, and then that, that's what's great about it, is that you can kind of incorporate it with it. Like, yeah. like videos of you working out, that's yeah. another way of posting and stuff like that. So. Yeah, yeah. 
All right, well, let's grab Sarah back, as I call her, SB Savage. Hold on, let me. I have to say, I appreciate you and SB getting your fans. They will be here January 10th. I'm wait, so wait, what? Okay, if you were frozen for a oh. hot second. Oh, my God. Okay, you didn't hear what I said. Oh, I said I appreciate you and SB getting your fans. Your yeah, class. oh, I'm excited. Yeah, do you yeah. have any announcements or here, anything January, you want to say? January 10th, I'm so excited. I put the link. If anybody else wants to get a clack fan, get them while you can because there's only a little bit left. So that's all I got to say. Okay? I'm so excited for mine. I, I, we, which is weird. We sold out the one. We got, we sold a lot the ones that were signed. Mm -hmm. And the ones that were not signed, I, I'm still got a lot left. So I don't know if I'm just going to. Just sign those. And switch them over. Because it sounds like people want the ones that are signed. That's what I'm getting at. So I didn't know that. I was like, okay. Right. Maybe split the remainder you have, split yeah. that amount to the signed ones and see if those sell. And then you can just keep adding to it. Yeah. Claire will be on the BBC next week. So Yay. we are trying to get through our whole entire cast. Once we get through our whole entire cast, we will move on to other platforms of other people or some past BB alums. We will see what we could do. All right. Let's see. Where is Sarah Beth? Okay. I'm doing the I'm doing the couch thing today, like you. I'm doing the, the, yeah. It's always my spot. Yay! Oh, oh, yay! Hey. hey guys, how are you? <laughs> I'm good. I gotta say, because I was watching, I definitely relate to you, Alyssa, with like feeling like all over the place. Because I'm usually mm -hmm. like a pretty dependable person, but I don't know. Like after Big Brother, I'm still like things just kind of swirl around my head. I make plans that I'm like, oh, I I already had plans. Yes. And I'm definitely still like for 2022. Me too. Like I just I want to get back into a routine and like fix up tidy up my little life again like even like yeah that's what that's how I used to be like I used to have a list and I still make that list but like I'll forget things or yeah mm -hmm. I've been really bad too it's probably because the only errands we had to do was uh change our mics <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> I didn't even do that sometimes yeah that's true savage how are you my love I'm good how are you guys doing I miss good. you here. I've been trying I to keep up with too. you. <laughs> you actually and I'm very excited to get my crack fan. Oh my god. I'm so excited for them to get here. Like I'm telling everybody, if you haven't got your crack fan, get it now because I only got a little bit left. But yes, I'm so excited. Because I know once they're here, I, I know everyone's gonna be like, I want one. And I'm mm -hmm. be like, I told you guys to get them when I had them. Right. Um, but yes, how are you? You look amazing, of course. Oh, is there anything you. is there anything like you're like working on now that you want to talk about as yeah. well just like his clack fan and everything um yes yeah, so i've been really getting into twitch streaming so um i see a lot of my twitch community my beeps in the chat so hello shout out to all yeah <laughs> you got so many questions like the the most questions i have gotten so far from when i do that question thing is hannah and you and a lot of people were saying um ask who your children are and they were like she'll understand <laughs> yes yeah so I, I i jokingly call everybody who comes to my twitch streams like they're my children even mm -hmm. if they're older than me they are my child they're under my wing um so <laughs> all, all of my viewers are my are my children and i call them my babies and i scold them all the time so <laughs> that was the, one of the questions was what's your favorite part about like playing on twitch or your favorite part and also like how you got into it after the show and everything. Because did you do it before mm -hmm. the show too? I did. So okay. I did it just a little bit. I kind of just dabbled in it, but I never took it super seriously. I just, and I never really played video games before. So when I was streaming before, I was mostly just like talking or like studying Japanese, things like that. So post the show, a lot of people were like, hey, we'd love to see you on Twitch. And I thought, okay, let me try this like seriously mm -hmm. so I got gaming consoles I got some games and I set it all up and I was like okay I'm, I'm gonna be a gamer now I guess oh and I love 
<laughs> it has been really fun though. Uh, first of all, I didn't realize how much I would like video games. I actually genuinely enjoy playing them. And then also, I feel like it really satisfies like the social urges that I get, you know, still with COVID being so dangerous, it's not easy for me to get or, together with all of my friends and things That's like true. that. Yeah. So that every day I can just turn on my stream and I feel like I'm just got like a room of a bunch of friends of mine and I can just talk to them about what's going on in my day. So it kind of like soothes like my social needs, which is really nice. Um, and I just keep meeting like really awesome people. I've really built a community around it, which is cool. So I have like a Discord server, which is basically like a place where you can just talk to people. It's like a chat room. And mm -hmm. everybody who watches my streams is in there. And then we share pictures and people tell me about their lives. Aww. And we just talk about all kinds of things. So it's just like this big front. And I'm like, it's so cool because I see people who met each other because they both watch my streams and now they're mm -hmm. all becoming friends and like building this community so it's oh, really I, cool it's you know, kind of cool because i feel like people that have like the group chats of like our fan base and they become friends it's like a whole nother section you have of fans that watch you in a different way because i like that you're not sticking with just big brother you're doing something you're taking that opportunity and moving it to twitch and now you have a whole yes. other fan base so that's awesome yeah for sure i definitely want to move away from big brother and like reality tv stuff because that's not like my main interest like like i said i'm doing the video games and then I, I like a lot of nerdy stuff so that's what i would actually continue to do like in my life in the future so i'm really no. trying to figure out a way to like use the fan base that i have but still be able to just do the stuff that I like to do. Yeah, it's um, a stepping stone. I, I think stone. Twitch has helped, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I want to make sure, like, with Big Brother, like, we didn't win, so what can I win from this? And it's a stepping right. stone into something else. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I think you're Absolutely. doing it right. I, think um, I, I still need to get the camera for my Switch, because I have it, and I want to play with you. And I, I'm just like, I just got to get the camera so I can do it, because I only have the camera for... PS5 and they always want me to get on Twitch and I'm just like I just haven't had time but yes you were doing it right and I think you're doing it the correct way and I think that we're all gonna find ways to I guess not say like we're like to, Big Brother is all we know but you know find ways to do things that we like to do and have people that enjoy us doing those mm -hmm. things and right. I you're great because let me tell you something the fact that you could do so much shit i can't even keep you and Brittany. i can't keep up with <laughs> i cannot <laughs> i'm i'm flattered to be compared to Brittany at all because i see Brittany's stuff and i'm like i can't keep up with her <laughs> oh my all god <laughs> i i give myself posts once a week Alyssa. <laughs> so, and i get it i've been doing it and sometimes i'm like fuck but yeah. i've been doing it once a week i've been trying i don't really know how to do twitter but I doing Instagram once a week is what I'm able to do. That's yes. good. Yeah. That's really um, good. So we have some Big Brother <laughs> questions first, only a few, but then I like to, like, me and Big Z like to do more so about you and what you're doing now. So yes. it's not just Big Brother. But one question was, what was going through your mind when you won Dash Dinner? Like, your first, like as soon as you realized you won? Uh, it was, I think I was really surprised i i just didn't expect at that point i guess i kind of felt a little discouraged about competitions and especially because it was like a physical competition and i kind of already made it up my mind like i can only win memory comps and that's it so then when i won it i was like oh wait <laughs> wait did i actually win an hoh and so it was really just it was kind of overwhelming because i was i was very happy but I was also like, okay, but now what do I do with this? And mm -hmm. how can I make a really good decision so that I don't feel like I wasted the little bit of power that I finally gotten in this game. So uh, it was it was like it was happy, but then it was also kind of overwhelming. And I remember um, getting comments from like some of my fans after that they were like, we were so happy for you. And then you didn't even look that happy about it. I'm like, <laughs> no, you I'm sorry. Didn't. It's like I was happy, but it's really overwhelming when, it in, is, in yeah. that <laughs> moment. So I remember looking at you and you were just like accepting it almost. <laughs> it looked like you were like accept like swallowing it. Like and you were flying. <laughs> and did not see her. It looked like like production put a rope on her back and just floated. Yes. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> like literally, every like oh, if Alyssa didn't 
miss her step. I'm like, do you not see how fast SB went? My time was like 10 seconds longer than yours. And the fact that DX was what, 0.01? Yeah, oh, that's yeah. insane. Mm -hmm. He was very, very close. Uh, it could have been a way different game. <laughs> I yeah. always remember after crying that I put X on the block and I go to the HOH room and SB is like, so I'm thinking about back doing X, or not X, DX. And the, I couldn't take my, the smile off my face. I remember being like, I am on board. <laughs> I was so excited. <laughs> I remember that. I definitely remember that. Yeah, you were you were definitely on board. I was like, okay, good. <laughs> and we should have just all worked together, SB. <laughs> I know, I know, but DX would have come for me too. He even told me that in the jury house. He's like, you know what? Honestly, I probably would have put you up again. You know yeah. what I mean? So it just it was never gonna happen. It wasn't yeah. gonna happen. Um. Next was. Who are you closest from with from the cast now, postseason? Oh gosh, um, I don't, I don't, I really don't know. I feel like I talk to a lot of you guys pretty equally, mm -hmm. so I don't think like just one person from the cast like really, really jumps out as like, oh yes, I've definitely been hanging out with this person the most or talking to this person the most. Um, so we I do I, have I our group chat. Yeah, and yeah, in the group chat. So yeah, I think it, the group chat has really helped me just kind of keep in contact with everybody. So I, I don't think like one person really stands out. Okay. Um, what did you learn about yourself from being on Big Brother that you maybe didn't know about yourself before? <laughs> That's me. Not the face. <laughs> like for me, I'm a fucking moron. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> I learned, I thought I was like one of the smartest people of like my area. I thought I was pretty smart. And then I realized I'm actually a, a dud. So what did you learn? <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, um, unfortunately for me, I don't think I like learned anything like positive about myself. Uh, this is actually something I talked about a little bit in a stream the other day, um, my New Year's Eve stream. But I think I had a lot of insecurities before going into the house and unfortunately, instead of making me feel better about them, which I think is like part of what I was hoping with the experience, I think being in the Big Brother house just like proved to myself like, oh, there is a reason you felt this way about yourself. You should actually be concerned about these things, you know? So that's actually for me, like as far as how I feel about myself and like how I see myself as a person and how I interact with other people. I think the Big Brother house has really pointed out some things I don't like about myself and that I really want to try and improve. Well, that is still something positive yeah. though, that you were able to see that. And I don't know if you want to like go into detail more than that, but <laughs> um, at least that, that is a positive aspect of it that you want to like, like grow from it though. And right, me, Abs yeah, absolutely. Let me say this, Espy. I think that I'm going to say you have grown a lot. And the reason why I say that is because when you were in that house, you made it clear. I am not doing no social media. No one's going to find me. <laughs> no one's not going to figure out who I am. And you came out and embraced it and made it your own. And that's mm -hmm. what I love the most. You were like, I'm going to be a strong woman. I'm going to be a businesswoman. And I'm going to make this my own and do what I need to do. Instead of being like some people that are just like, I'm, like I said, I'm sticking to it. I'm not doing it. It's just closing their phone and cutting themselves off. And then, you know, not taking the time to try to take on this. Because this is not easy. None of this is easy. Because we have to be yeah. open about who we are. And I remember you saying you were such a private person. So I just want to say that is growth. <laughs> and I love mm -hmm. that about you. So keep it mm -hmm. up. I think you're doing great. And you're controlling it. You're controlling your own story and your own destiny. And that's what's important. Seriously. And and literally, like, the questions I was getting for you were the same amount as Hannah, if not more, and they were all very positive, and all, a lot of them were about your Twitch and everything, and how oh, everyone awesome. really loves you on it. So yeah. just know, like, if you feel that way, your personality is what people are being, like, attracted to yes. on the Twitch, and people are really liking it, so. Yes. <laughs> you guys are very sweet, thank you. Yeah, it's definitely, like, uh, like you were saying earlier, Alyssa, like, I want to make everything, I want to make it a positive experience. Like, mm -hmm. I want to do everything I can within my control to make the experience, like, make good things happen because of it. Yeah. So staying online and not just shutting down, like, that was my effort to say, okay, I didn't win the money. Mm -hmm. That sucks. Really wanted to win it. 
Um, I was not beloved by the fans. Okay, that sucks. But what can I do for myself to make this a positive experience? And so that's what I've been really trying to do. And there's people that love you. There's people that love there you. There really is. I, oh yeah. Baby, I'm in the, I'm I'm probably in the worst boat than you are. My boat <laughs> sinks. Okay. I'm underneath the water. I'm at the bottom. Where you're like <laughs> Still afloat. We're still dumping water out your boat. So I hate <laughs> everybody. So just know that, you know, there's people that love you. And just to keep it up, like, no matter what. I mean, I'm obsessed with you. Do anything. I'm like, look at me. I'm like, trying to <laughs> look at me. Look, look, look I know. I love oh, watching your TikToks, too. Yeah. <laughs> Don't look, too. Sometimes I get embarrassed. Like, I'm so nerdy. So, like, I'll post something. And then one of you guys will comment on it. Or, like, the other day I was live streaming in cosplay. And, like, Kat Dunn came on. And then I just got really embarrassed. I was like, no, this is the weird side of me. Like, don't look no, at that. Like, no. I, I don't, but that's what, but that's the SB we love. Though. Yes. Like, that's really you. I wasn't, I, yeah. I think you think that I'm kidding, but I want to go to one of the cafe things. I'm not yes. messing with you. I'm, I know. I really I want, want to. So I hope you actually, like, invite me because I really want to know. And I feel like. Um, Big D, you weren't in jury, but I feel like I got to really know SB a lot in jury, and I really would, I really would love to go. Honestly, yeah, yeah, I, I would definitely send an invite next time we're doing one for sure. Okay. I want to do it. And I'm so <laughs> glad. You know, what's funny, my roommates they talk about you all the time because they love you, and they go, <laughs> SB on the show is not SB in person, and I go, I know because I used to tell SB. Hey, I can't wait to get to know you outside this house. And I used mm -hmm. to talk about all the time because I used to be like, this can't be the same girl. I know this can't be the same girl. And we're both in the same community. So I have <laughs> I love her and I want I want like I have to get to know this girl outside the house because right now I can't I can't get to know her in this house. But I'm yeah. so I think um one of the questions I have that I got, um how was it being in the house with Kylan. That is one of the tough questions. <laughs> Sorry, we got to get it out there. Let's I didn't even write out. that one down because I wasn't sure. But. Yeah, I'm just, we just got to get out there. You know, it's the BBC and that's what it is. Mm -hmm. um, got to do the, the hard hitting question. <laughs> we only have, we usually only give people one. Yes. Yes. We... Okay. <laughs> um. <clears throat> I think that, uh, I, I've said this multiple times, um, but I think that for me, my biggest mistake when it came to Kyle, which is what I call him now, um, <laughs> is that- I call him Kyren. <laughs> I like that one too. But I did, I actually really underestimated him. There were so many signals that he was giving me that if, that if I had really paid attention to, I would have been like, huh, this is weird. Like just in general, he was really overconfident about his safety. He did not seem to be bothered by sitting on the block next to me. He didn't seem concerned that some people that I didn't, at the time I didn't know that were in the cookout were saying bad things about, you know, like Ozzy was yeah. coming after him and Tiffany was saying a lot of mean things about him. And I would tell him these things and he's just like, oh, it's no big deal. And at the time, I just thought, he's bad at this game. He's just bad at it. He doesn't know what's going on. I will sit beside him and send his ass home and it's yeah. fine. But if I had actually been like, huh, maybe there's a reason he has this overconfidence, then I might have thought, okay, well, why does he feel safe next to me on the block? Yeah. Is there something that actually gives him that safety? So if I yeah. had given him a little more credit as a player and as a strategist, I actually think I might have done better in the game, but I totally underestimated him. And I just, I didn't pay attention to any of the signs he gave me that something was going on. Yeah. Yeah. It's almost like in there, you have to overthink what you're already thinking. And like, <laughs> yeah. like but wait, this, but wait, what about this? Like, <laughs> Yep. So I get it. Um, the only, there's one more Big Brother one. If you made Final Four, who would you have wanted with you? Um, so I always, like, really wanted to win the game. <laughs> so my ideal Final Four, like, near the end, 
I was just trying to think like who I could beat like in competitions. And of course I didn't know about the cookout, but I was trying to think like, who have I done more than in the house? So I was definitely thinking Claire, Big D and Aza. Like if I could have just like hand picked it, those are the three mm -hmm. I would have picked. Cause I felt like I can beat them in competitions. I had yeah. at that point, like I was like, I have an HOH, I can get more HOHs and then maybe I can win in a final two. Okay. Um, now, where did you get your interest in cosplay and anime? Where did, where, where did your in interest come from? <laughs> I think like a lot of people my age, I started watching anime because of like Cartoon Network. So they had like Toonami and they did the Sailor Moon and the Dragon Ball and all of that. So that's how I started watching. Um, and then I actually stopped like as I got older, like in high school, I, I didn't really watch for a while. I just had other interests and hobbies. But when I was in college, I started hanging out with some friends who were still really into it. So I started watching it again. And I had um, already always had like an interest in sewing. So my grandma taught me to sew when I was little and I was doing um, costuming for, I was really into musical theater at the time. So I did costuming through that. And so when I really started getting into anime again and started going to anime conventions, I was like, oh, like I could just make the costumes of these characters that I like and that would be really fun. And because of theater, like I, I already did theater makeup and wig styling and costuming. So I was like, oh, this is like a really easy like um, combination of hobbies that I have. And then once I started, it was just really addicting. And now I'm 28 and I'm still doing it. So <laughs> we'll see how far I take it. <laughs> Now wait, are you gonna do more of us for different yeah, anime? Yeah, I'm waiting for no, mine. Is no, it's SB, you started it. You can't do two yeah, people. Yeah, you it's, have I've... to finish it. Well, you didn't notice that I took them down. <laughs> oh, you no, did? No, I didn't them down. No, you gotta put them back up. I just, I don't know. Like, I just, I kept putting it off and putting it off. Like, I had other ones planned. I didn't have every single person completely figured out who I wanted to do yet. But I did have them all planned, and then I just haven't gotten around to it. But what I might do instead of making them the individual TikToks is I might just make a whole video where I just, like, sure. quickly talk okay, through yeah. who I did sure. for I might do that instead. Because okay, I did have, a, like, pretty much everyone's picked out. So I okay, do want to do I will do it. One of the questions was, what anime character would you associate with every cast member? But don't answer it, because I want to watch the video. Okay, okay. Okay. Also, I'll I do just that. Hello to Brittany and Hannah and Claire all in the comments being you know the normal selves you know <laughs> the little hussy just doesn't know how to just mind her business she then we got claire in here claire never watches claire, claire never claire. watches claire. She must have some free time you know her and you know <laughs> him and kanye they must have some time <laughs> <laughs> um okay are you considering making voice acting a more serious career um I, I guess no. I, I keep saying like, oh, it, it would be a dream job and I'd really like to do it. But then I've not done anything to pursue it at all. I don't, I did not make a voice reel. I have not con like contacted management companies or anything like that. So I guess I must, I don't know. Am I just procrastinating or am I just not actually interested enough to pursue it? I'm not sure. Right now I would really like to get back into some sort of chemistry career. Um, like I'm really heavily applying for jobs and trying to get back into that. Yeah. But then once I get back into a chemistry career and that feels like more relaxed and like I said, I get more into a routine, then I might start, then I might make a voice reel and send it out to some places and see where it goes from there. But I just want to, I want to get everything else in order first, I guess. You know what you could do too is like the, I see TikToks where they'll do, oh, can you be a voice actor for this commercial? And like you voice it. Have you seen those duets? No, I haven't. Okay, I'll have to, I'm gonna cool. send it to you. I've seen it, I'll look for it. Yeah. But they, you'll, there's one person, I don't know, I'm sure other people do it, but um, there's one girl that goes, do you wanna be a voice actor? Try doing this one and they'll have the text and that you do like a commercial. And I could see you doing that where like yes. you duet them or like, something like that and just have mm -hmm. it on your TikTok, another thing to post. And you never know, yeah. like some, people blow up on TikTok. That's some true. brand could easily be like, oh my God, I want this girl. I might just buy some cameos from you. That's yeah, Brit like, Brittany, I might Brittany just you try to find it. Things so I can use it for my Twitter haters. Like, fuck, 
shut the fuck up. Like, I might need. Yeah, like they get a ringtones. <laughs> <laughs> ringtones. What was I the one thing off. we liked her? Wait, what was the one thing, Esby, that you would say? Oh, recalculating. Oh, yeah, the recalculating. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, but, Brittany, you're on TikTok way more than me. Try to, if you can, find that video for SB because I think she'd be really good at that. Yeah, yeah that's a really good idea. I would definitely do that. That's low and effort Derek TikTok, too. That's Sarah what I Beth. love is low effort TikTok. <laughs> yeah. That, that's what me too. The, <laughs> me too. The person you put on the block is here, Sarah Beth. Derek X, do you believe it? He blessed us with his presence. Derek X and Claire. I can't even I, I don't even know what to do. Derek I, X Derek X saw me and S being alive and thought it was a nightmare. <laughs> 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 well, Claire will be on next week, and hopefully we can finally get Derek X on here. You know, that's what the fans been waiting for, you know. <laughs> so we'll see his schedule. All right, last question, and then we'll add in um, fans, is how did you get into forensic science? So it's actually just so stupid. I, I took a test when I was maybe like 12 or 13. You know, like you had to do those career tests in school. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was just like, you should be a forensic chemist. And I literally was just like, okay. <laughs> I just did it. Like, I just didn't question it. I, like, I literally, I declared my major as chemistry, like, my second day in college. I was like, yeah, let's do it. And I don't know. I just, I never really second guessed it. So... <laughs> That, that's how it happened. I actually took a, there was actually a college class. I literally got credit for it and it was just a career path thing. But yeah. that's really that you got that and you went with it. Went with it. I did, I did take a class in college my first semester that was called Finding Your Life Purpose. purpose. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we walk into the class and we sit down and the first thing that the teacher says is, you're not going to find your life purpose in this class. Oh and we're God. all like, we're like, why are we in here? Like, why? What? Like, this is such clickbait. Like, but it, it, it was a fun class. No. Um, <laughs> I love that. Hannah, get out these comments. Hannah is a word. I'm Hannah, missing I, all the, I'm missing all the good comments. Hannah, you I just know can't I believe love that. Don't even joke like that, Hannah. I can't believe that one, two, three, five of our house guests are here to see you, SB. Because, listen, SB, we do this every week, and they're not here for us. Every so Tuesday? Just, you know, this not, no <laughs> oh, Alyssa trying to remember a single yeah. <laughs> DX just came to ask for his 5K back. It's not happening. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> I just like, got sorry, about that no. part. Oh my God, SB. And I remember <laughs> we went in the back room and I go, now girl, that I don't think girl. there's anything. I'm sorry, <laughs> this to SB. I, don't has, think no, I used to get SB all, all the time. All the time. It was like she just knew when it came to me, she could not sit there and like think that she going to put an act on. I'm like, that's me, that acting girl. But I don't you think you understand. I'm like, I'm DX not needs to understand that when she was telling you she's going to backdoor him, that grin I had was, dang, this chick took 5K from him. <laughs> and she is getting his ass out. <laughs> I was just, I remember like, trying to like be serious because I was really just bawling my eyes out. I have sunglasses on, that X is on the block, and I'm just like, <laughs> like trying not to evil laugh. And I'm just like, I'm on board. I'm on board. Whatever you need. You know <laughs> this. Did he call me cold AF? <laughs> <laughs> I was so convinced. I still haven't watched the show, so I'm not sure, like, to the extent that they showed it. But when I, I say I bawled my eyes out in the DR, bawled my eyes out, I was crying so hard. And I was like, I just don't think I'm a cold person. Like, I tried to be so respectful to him, and I was nice, and I haven't said anything bad about anybody. <laughs> they, just, they just let me. They're so mean. They just let me cry my eyes out about it. Oh, my gosh, so embarrassing. Are you going to watch this season? But I need all you got. Listen, I really cannot. You, this is where I'm going to stop being friends with you guys. I can't have you guys keep talking to each other and y'all haven't watched the season. Y'all need to take the time before the next season come on and just watch it. Just I just, I, when I watch it, the, if I just, like, I was trying to find an image of me and SB to post. 
about the BBC. Yeah. The photos of us in the house and re remembering, to, it gave me my anxiety back from being oh. in the house. Like literally just trying to find a photo of me and SB. I saw photos, oh, this was a photo. And then I click on the photo and you can see what the website link is. And it's like a, um, like a, a live feed talking about back during Christian or yeah. um, they people wanting me out next and this. And it's yeah. just like, I get that anxiety back. And when I watch the show, it's mm. even more. Okay. Well, I don't never want you guys to do nothing against your mental. I will say that. Yeah. I, I just sometimes, like, I know some people have watched it, some people have it in our cast. And I'm just like, I'm like, just get through it. So you can say you watched that. And then, like, I've our... watched from uh, SB. How much have you watched? Like, um, remember when we all got together and we watched, like, the <laughs> intros? <laughs> that was it. That's literally all I've seen. I've seen from O time yeah. on. Like Brittany was about to get backdoored is what I finished at. I get Russia. it. I get it. I like I said, if you can get through it, get through it. If not, I'm not gonna push you to do it. It's just I think it's hard for like I said before, people to have conversations that they haven't seen yet, if that makes sense. It's hard. I am yeah. I am actually planning to watch it sometime this year and i'm the plan is i'm actually gonna live stream it so okay. that people can see my reactions to oh, it I like as that. i watch it yeah so it'll be me watching my own season for the first time so that'll be on my twitch at some point this year probably a good bit into the year because i i'm not quite ready yet but i do i don't want to go into 2023 and still have to watch it so i do want to watch it yeah. this year yeah. Yeah. Don't. It's do like that. we're just. It's like we're getting it over with. Like, it's <laughs> literally, literally. I love that. I think everyone should do that. But I love that because I'm gonna watch when you watch it. That's actually I'm a really good idea. Yeah. yeah I, think I think it'll be fun. I think it'll be super fun. And plus, too, I can give some insight to people as I'm watching it too. Like when I see things, and be like, okay, that conversation was out of order, or oh, but this was also going on. So I yes, think it'll be fun for the viewers to see. Because yeah. I was never a live feeder when I watched the show. And Me now I watch, I watch Frenchies Week. And I was like, they showed 10% of what oh. happened. Oh. And, it, and people Five still percent. say it looked chaotic. And it's Five. like, what? That, like, it, <laughs> SB, when you watch it, tell me what you think or I'll watch your Twitch because it shows. Yeah. And because we were, the, you know, I, put, I was put on the block. It was going to be me or you and you're we freaking out. Like, literally, it shows 10%. Wow. Of the chaos. I, you know that week was crazy. I was still finding out things that went down in week one and like week six. And I'm like, how do I still not even God, know everything know, that went tell down? Tell me what you one. think because it's it's like now I'm like, if I watch it, I don't know how hardcore of a fan I'm gonna be in like watching the show now because I feel like it's like weird now. But I if I am, I'm I'm keeping up on Twitter with live feeds because it's like I, wow, I, I had no idea that they they really because it is there's so many conversations you have to choose which ones you're gonna put in it but oh yeah. my god they show nothing i think i'm gonna do the t i think wow. i'm gonna i think i'm gonna do whatever the twitters you know sent to me about the live feeds i'm out that's too much time and then also i didn't realize how much i was watching the live feeds because i was trying to go back to find things i didn't know they did so much like cutting like cutting to the dogs and stuff like that like i didn't know they did that. <laughs> And it, I, heard, I, I heard we were bad at it. Person. I don't, I, I don't want to watch the live feeds, but, like, I would keep up on yeah. Twitter. Yes, that's what yeah. I meant. I was trying to go back to find things, like, from week one to try to find, like, the conversations that were happening. And it was, like, it would cut to, like, you guys in the kitchen and then not show us outside when we were talking. Yeah. Like, yeah. what the Honestly, fuck? Honestly, if they showed everything in week one, it probably would have been a three weeks worth of episodes. Girl, like, yes. I have never seen anything like it. But it, I mean, it was it was great. So I definitely maybe I'll watch it and give. Them, I skipped through it. I went like this. Oh, you did? Gotcha. Yeah, because I went. I I was looking for a certain part because I, when I came home, I kept getting the tweet about something, and I was like, mm -hmm. Gotcha. Let me see what y'all talking about. And then when I went to it, I was like, okay, oh, that's bullshit, but cool, whatever. So I'm going to watch it live and then see what happened. But I'm waiting till you do yours first because I need to watch your reaction. Mm-hmm. Are you guys going to watch Celebrity Big Brother? Yeah. I've never watched it before, but I think me? I will. Yeah, I haven't either, but I do I've plan never. on watching it. And oh I'm going to be talking about it. 
So and I'm I want to watch Big Brother Canada. Like I was so hardcore Big Brother fan that I didn't watch anything else but just U.S. Big Brother. So I definitely want to watch the celebrity one, and I would really like to watch um, BB Canada. Oh, Gavin's in here that too? too. You even have Gavin in here, SB. We love Gavin. Ga Gavin, the Hay House gas. Hay House gas. Oh, oh. Oh, I yeah. don't think Gavin liked me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, I'm gonna do a. I'm gonna do a. Because everyone's always asking for like a meet and greet. I don't really want to call it a meet and greet, but I'm gonna host something in Philly for uh, Celebrity Big Brother to premiere. To see who wants oh, to come. Oh, that'll be fun. Probably get some people from the challenge to come and stuff like that, and the fans can buy tickets and come and hang out. And whoever's close, I probably ask Brent or something to come down. Um, and Brittany and Christian, whoever's close to come. Claire and DX will probably be too busy for me. So, <laughs> but I'll still invite them and see if they're available. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna do something like that because Celebrity Big Brother is good. I love Celebrity Big Brother more than anything else. So yeah. All right, I'm excited to watch yeah. it. I want to watch too. Should we I'll add watch. some fans in? Yeah, we're at that time. Let's SB, do it. Have a letter right. that we can SB, pick. you have to pick a letter, and then Big D will go through the request and pick someone with that letter. Okay. Um, I'll pick uh E. Oh wow! Okay, no one's ever. Gavin said, "Gavin said, SB, you know I love you all." <laughs> Thank you, Gavin. You're so sweet. <laughs> I know I gave y'all a hard ass time in the diary room. <laughs> you don't right. have to be nice to me. <laughs> yes. Yeah. There was one time I, I heard was you and Kylie were the difficult ones, and I found that out after the show. Okay. <laughs> there was one time I was a big brat. <laughs> and they thought I was upset because I was on the block. And I'm like, no, I'm just on slop. And you guys keep asking me about me being on the block. Yes. And yes. I was like, <laughs> and you came back to the room and you're like, so distraught. And I'm like, what's wrong? And you're like, I'm just on slop. And they keep asking me questions. And I'm like, this, Alyssa, get it together. We have a show we have to do. We signed this contract. Just tell them what the fuck they want to hear and <laughs> they'll let you go. <laughs> You were so, I thought, like, I, I was thought, so like, over it. Your anxiety, I thought something family or something. You're talking about the producers keep asking me questions that I can't <laughs> answer. And I, I was being a brat. I was being such a brat. That's what the house does to you, though. It, like, you just get, you get so burnt out. You're like, I just can't do anything. Yeah. I just can't. I can't. They're anymore. like, are your emotions finally coming out about you being on the block? I'm like, no. This doesn't even have to do with it. Like, Yes. You know what the crazy part is? I think people are like, you're already stressing the game. They just add more to it. Like, those extra things where it's like, I don't, I don't want to talk today. I want to just sit here and listen to what everybody else the fuck is talking about to see what's going on. Like, those are the things I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Okay. All right, SB, I don't did you pick a letter? E I did. I picked E. Oh. There's no E. Can you give me a different letter? Um, uh, H. Oh, okay. All right. Let's see what we got. Imagine it's Gavin. Oh, my <laughs> die. Because Gavin's real name's Henry. <laughs> Not you. Am I allowed to say that? I don't think doxing, you... doxing Gavin. <laughs> I don't think you were, Alyssa. Uh, I'm so sorry. Well, he's on the live. Like, no, he's but saying don't... love you guys. Not you guys about to make this matter. Sorry, Gavin. <laughs> oh, DX was always so good. Now, if anyone process. acts crazy, hello. Hello. Hi. Hi, this is crazy. Oh, my gosh. How are um, you? Hi. I'm doing well. How are y'all? Good. Good. Oh, my gosh, this is crazy. Um, What's your name? My name is Hayden. Oh, hi, Hayden. Hayden. Nice to hi. meet you. Nice to meet you. So I asked a question about forensic science. SB because I'm okay. a uh, I'm a aspiring forensic scientist. I have a periodic table on my wall, and so I'm just I'm really interested in that. So um, I guess like were you a chemistry major in college? Yes. Um, so I majored in chemistry, and I do actually recommend that even if you want to go into forensics because you will get everything that you need to do a forensic chemistry career with a chemistry degree. Right. And then if it doesn't work out 
you can do anything else. Whereas if you get something specifically in forensics, you're kind of pigeonholed into that one field. And it's actually a really competitive field. So it might take you a while to find that job that you're looking for. So I highly recommend just getting a chemistry degree. I also recommend instead of taking like a higher calculus, make sure you get a statistics course because a lot of places actually require for you to have statistics. I made that mistake. I took calculus three instead of taking statistics. And there's so many states that I can't get a job in, like all of Texas, pretty much. I couldn't do forensics in because they require you to have an that they require you to have statistics. And nobody told me. I didn't know. So I'm actually a uh, biochemistry student, a third year, and I'm taking chem three this semester. So oh, I'm cool. like, oh, so I guess we'll figure that out. But uh, <laughs> yeah, it's definitely uh, what I'm definitely interested in. So when you the cast was announced and I saw that you were a forensic chemist, like you can give me a favor like right away so oh thank you that's well, of so course. sweet of course i wish you the best of luck getting your degree and getting into your forensics career thank you so much thank you guys for having me on thank yeah, of you course. bye bye man he's <laughs> as he's talking and that shit, i'm like this oh listen listen everybody in our cast Get out of here, because they're the worst in the fucking comments. Really? Everyone's like, look at the list of You're talking about all of that, and my small brain, I yes. went cross-eyed. I was like, <laughs> yeah, we are both looking like, and everyone <laughs> and Big D are like, when did they start? When did she start speaking a different language? I yes, like <laughs> a whole different language, and I'm like this. This is the smartest. Both of us literally just were frozen. We were like. <laughs> I'm just nodding. Wow, man. <laughs> that was good. Uh, that, that was really was nice good. of him. I mean, you that, never yeah, he was super him. sweet. He was cute. He was cute. He was cute. You never know what you're going to get on this. That, man, I literally... Me and, just, I, and Alyssa, <laughs> I just clocked out for a solid 45 seconds. Sarah Beth was like, yeah, so you take this major and then you take that and then if you carry this, then that will work. And I'm like this. <laughs> I fucking can't. I, the the house were, the I, I literally house couldn't. Were very I was smart. like, I'm just, not going to even act like I know what they're talking about. I was just like. <laughs> you women are wow. smart. The BB23 cast women are fucking uh, smart. I See, think this whole cast was way smarter than I expected. I really, part of like the confidence I had going into the show was like, I've seen Big Brother. There's always a bunch of stupid people. Like, I'm going to be smart. <laughs> like, and then I remember doing freaking um, the BB high school hijinks and almost everyone had a pretty decent score. Like what was the longest time was like 11 minutes or something. Are you talking and, about like, the, the comp? Yes, the one that Chata won. And then like, <laughs> Alyssa! people like literally time out on that. Every single Oh, okay, time you have out. a good point. You have, I really thought I was gonna time out. X, did you throw that one too or did, did you try on that one because Oh. They, I was like, okay, at least at least X did really bad too. But that is true. People do no, time out. No, none of you actually did bad. Like people will take like twenty five to thirty minutes. Like they'll time out on that clock. Yeah, that's true. And like that's true. several of us were like, you know, like three minutes something or what, whatever they are. I forget. It's been too much time now. So like, I remember being in the DR. And being like, why did y'all put me on this season with so many smart people? Where are the stupid people? Like, where are they? Like, why they are really these guys smart? Good. Yeah. Yeah. E everybody was, was way more intelligent than I expected. They did. They definitely did. Yeah, wow. I'm bitter about it. I wanted to play with <laughs> stupid people. <laughs> I was trying to win this game. Not, not you wanted to play with stupid people. I, I did. I actually it makes did. sense. Wow. Mm, 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 mm. All right. Alyssa, you want to go next? Um, okay. Go? Um, let's do A for Alyssa. Okay. Alyssa, uh, A for awesome. Let's see what we got. <laughs> A for all the comps X played in, he threw. Okay. Uh, okay, I got I got A's. I got two A's. Yeah. Uh, give me your next favorite letter. Let me see how close I can get to that. Uh... L. Oh wow. Okay. No. I got it. <laughs> you it right on the nose. I was just spelling out Alyssa. 
<laughs> yeah. Basically. Hello? Hey. Hi. Hi. I'm using my Christmas tree lighting one. Oh, okay. oh, oh, hi. That worked. Hi. How's it going? Good. How are you? I'm good. This is my dog Cheeto. Oh, oh so hi, Cheeto. Cheeto. So cute. What's your I name? I have to say, I'm a, I'm Amber. I'm oh, a big hi, BB fan. Um, best season in a long time. We've had a couple of dud seasons, but <laughs> you guys were all great. Uh, I work as a physician assistant, and uh, it's been really wild these past two years. So uh, Tuesday nights are my favorite. Get to get on the big blue couch, relax, forget about COVID for a little bit. So Aww. thank you guys for that. So um, I would, I guess um, my question, I want to give you guys something different because you're always going to be some questions. So we'll what would you say your pinnacle year would be? Like, just like, personally? Personally, growth, life, whichever way you want to take it, career. I know this year was probably pinnacle for you guys, but. SB, you go first. You're the guest. Yes. Um, I would actually say um, my pinnacle was the year so far in my life was uh, 2016. So that's when I got my previous job that was in Florida. So up until that point, I was living in South Carolina. So I moved to Florida completely by myself. Like I didn't have any family there or any friends. I was just like, I'm going to go. I'm going to do forensic chemistry in Florida. And that year I ended up meeting so many more people. I got really settled into my career and like life outside of college and really, really settled down in Florida. And like that was the first year that I felt like an actual adult like about to live my life so I would say that was definitely like a pinnacle year for me oh I love that that's awesome mine would probably be 2019 I got my bachelor's degree and that was really hard with working a bunch and living on my own I moved out when I was 17 so working a bunch to be able to pay my bills and I also uh, commuted to college which is about an hour and a half drive four times a week so mm -hmm. I finally accomplished that and that same year I was making the most money I was making bartending as well. So I was saving a lot of money. I was able to pay off a lot of my debt as well. Still got a, still got a lot, but. Well, um, trust me, PA school killed me ooh. and it took me two masters to figure out what I want to do. So <laughs> I'm in the hole. Yeah, I still have a lot, but I was yeah. able to take some off. I graduated and then as soon as I graduated, the part-time job I had as a videographer, they gave me the full-time position. So I immediately right after college, I was able to a lot of that stress being in college is like getting that job and like having to do interviews. So I was able to go right out of college out of that, that and also I would say last year, not only because of Big Brother, because that was like a goal of mine, but I was able to launch my own brand. And it yeah. was a lot That's of hard work. And during COVID, I did have to work three jobs as well as start a brand. So be able to like accomplish that and like the first ding on our register of an order was like the coolest thing ever. So I would say those two years are tied. Okay. Um, I'm going to say <laughs> probably 2017 or 2018. I'm so sorry. I can't remember. It was the year that I got promoted to be an admissions director um, that was probably my best year, um, just because of the fact that I was able to move up and ranks really fast. Um, and I worked really hard to get that position. Um, and that was like a good year on sales and a good year to have enrollment. Um, so probably 2019 was a really good year for me. Um, and able to work on myself. That was a good year for myself physically and also mentally, um, so yeah, I'm not going to say last year, <laughs> uh, which Big Brother was a goal, but <clears throat> that was it. Nothing else. Um, so I think this year, hopefully, will be the goal I want. Yeah, well, I again, I, thank I you guys so much. I is the best year for all of us. Yes. Yes, yes definitely, definitely. Um, Good. but thank you guys so much. And, you know, to the cast in the comments too, just, you know, your guys' positivity, the world needs that right now. And it's been, it's been really great, guys. Thank you so Aww. much. Thanks for watching, too, because we have Thank a lot you. of fun being able to have our cast on and people can know more about them because some people don't yeah. watch the live feeds or yeah. know how we are. So I, I'm glad that people do, like, genuinely like watching. So Yeah. 
And I, uh, when you do next year, the Twitter feeds are really helpful for live feeds instead. Because yes. when I got home from work, I couldn't, I couldn't go okay. back and sit through. Okay. So I'm, I'm gonna, gonna do that. I'm, I'm not gonna watch that. That's too much. That. But yeah, it got a little extra. My boyfriend's like, "Wait, is this on 24 7 I was like, "No, it's the live feeds," and I'd just be like cooking in the kitchen. Yeah. But. Yeah. I'm gonna do that. That that sounds a little yeah more reasonable. I can't sit there and watch all that live feed. I tried to go back, and I'm like putting in times and like. I'm like, uh-uh, this is... Too no, much. and then sometimes you realize you just watch something pointless for, like, five, ten minutes, and then Correct. it's an hour later. Yeah. And you guys are just on the couch, but... Correct. Well, bye. Well, thank you. Tell Really Cheeto great seeing you guys. Yes. Um, he's... Cheeto. Hey, Cheeto. Oh, I wish Piper was behind <laughs> me, because then I could Hi, show Cheeto. Piper. Where's Piper? We could, we could set him on a hot date. Yeah! Piper there you go. Single. There you go. Where's Piper? Piper! <laughs> I don't know where she is, but but it was nice uh, meeting you. Thank you so much for watching. Of course. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Bye. 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 Okay, now I'm concerned because if Piper's chewing something. Piper! Oh, not chewing something. I think she's sleeping, but my place isn't that big, so I, I should that. be able to see her. Everyone's doing really good tonight. Everyone's doing really good tonight. Yay! Yeah, we about... usually get a little nervous with how yeah. fans oh, are It's people me who see? gets nervous because the comments um, go... Look at Big D's face before I pick somebody. We haven't. We've only had a few where like um, asking questions that have to do with kind of like the drama of it, but nothing like, oh, oh my god, we have to hurry up and cancel or anything. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I see you picked the last one, Piper. I'm gonna go with M. Piper, Pipe, come here. I don't know where she is. Oh, oh, hi, Mandy. Hi. hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Good. What My... is your question? I have a couple. Okay. Whoa. Not a... I wrote them down. Oh, <laughs> nice. Oh, she 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 so I love it. Um, they're definitely not as good as the other questions, but my first one is, are any of you guys interested in getting a P.O. box? Oh, I never thought of it. <laughs> Do you guys you guys don't have one? No, I I pretty much pretty daily much. get asked about it though. So I have looked into it and it's just kind of expensive. So what I did find and what I would recommend and what I think I'm going to do is I I actually realized that so I thought you could only get a PO box through your like mail service like uh like um the United Postal Service, yeah. but there's actually like whole businesses that will are just like mailbox businesses and it's cheaper rates. Oh. So they just like have like their little building that you can access and they have their mailboxes there and then people can send that mail there. So I do think that's probably what I'm going to end up doing so that, okay. well, one, so that people can um, send me things, but then also, so if I like sell something online, I have a return address that's safe for me to put on it. Mm. Okay. I, I haven't even thought of it. I didn't think anyone wanted to send me anything. Me either. I, mean, I, have, I have not. I, I'm sure they do. I haven't thought of that. But what do they want to send? I'll put it on my list of things. I'll put it on my list for sure. I'm doing lists again. I'm going to put it on my list. What do they want to send me, though? Like, what is something I'm going to receive? Like, I'm a little worried. Like, like I got a lot. Um, people just wanted to send me their Christmas card, which I thought uh, was really cute. And I would have loved yeah, to have gotten cute. that. Yeah, but I didn't have a safe way for them to do that. But if it was open and I could have just gotten, like, a bunch of Christmas greetings from fans, like, that would have been really awesome, so. Okay. I don't know. I'm a little scared. I feel like I'm just going to get a bunch of FUs in my mail. I don't know if I want to do that. If you think about it, if someone's going to take the time and the money to send you something like that, at least you know that they're in, you're in their mind that much. So. I guess. Yeah, oh, you've got right. them thinking hard. Okay. That's the time out of their day. They got to think about what they're going to write. They got to get a stamp. They got to mail it. <laughs> they're obsessed with you. And that's I mean, a compliment. Okay. I'll Andy, at... I might, actually. I didn't think or... I sh I didn't know if I should, but. You should. Did about. other people from our cast do that? Yeah. I don't know. Oh. 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 Okay. Good to know. <laughs> uh, okay. Didn't know. Oh, wait. Okay. No, I think I saw Christian said he, he got my... one. Christian did tell me he got one. But go ahead. Okay. What was your next one? Um. You said you would watch Celebrity Big Brother. So who is someone you would want to see on it? Mm. Oh. Um, 
I'm going to have to say either NeNe Leaks or Tiffany, I love New York, of course. One or the other. It's a must. Mm -hmm. It's a must. Yeah, I, I, I would love to see Tiffany on it. I, but I know she's already done, like, she did the European one. I know. Who cares? That but, that wasn't us, though. We need her here. Yeah, yeah. Forget that one. Yeah. I would I would be ecstatic if she was on this season. Yes. Alyssa? Mine? I don't know. I'm going to say, doesn't Rihanna watch it? I think that would be insane. Can you imagine? Like, I'm Alyssa, thinking someone insane. Come on like, what if, what if, like, Ariana Grande did it because of Frankie? If, if Rihanna, if Rihanna goes on it, I'm going to end up, like, I'm going to be, like, one, like, a toxic, like, Chata stan, except it's going to be me, like, standing Rihanna on Big Brother. <laughs> I'm going to be, like, a menace on Twitter, like, how dare anyone target her, Toxic how dare put her on the block, like, y'all will see my monster come out. <laughs> I believe that. Oh, my God. I'm just saying, she probably would never do it, but... I want someone... I'm, I'm going to wish it, still. Anyone from RuPaul, I'm happy with. I'll take any of the RuPaul judges. Ooh, I'll take yeah. anybody. You know who would RuPaul. be funny is like someone like Pete Davidson or something because I think he would just be entertaining because he would just be like, "What the fuck am I doing here?" <laughs> <laughs> I dream big. Okay, that's that's true. I also hope I I would love to see Todrick on it because Todrick was so oh, nice. Oh yeah, show, and I know that he wants to be on it. So yeah, um, I would love if not this season on a future season. I would really love to see him make it. Yeah, that'd be cool. I like that answer too. Todrick would be good. He would cover for the RuPaul drag queens and the judges, so I'll be happy with that. Yep. Um, yeah. Okay. What's your Did last? Do you have question? any other? Um, my last question is for you, Liz, and how is the pineapple chop? Oh, so I went, so basically in Sarasota, um, downtown Sarasota, every year for New Year's, um, instead of like a ball drop, it's a light up pineapple that drops. And oh, I went, cute. and I went, and I went into a bar. So basically like in, they'll, um, they'll shut down the road so you can like be around there and do that. I ended up going into a bar, so I didn't get to actually see it. But when I was walking back, I didn't see a pineapple either so i'm still under investigation about that but i did have fun as soon as it hit midnight i looked at my friends and i was like we're gonna mcdonald's so we just left oh, <laughs> i don't really nice. party anymore man i try when we when we all hang out is like the most i party same oh same here for sure well i do that i i party with you guys but then also sometimes i'll do when i'm on twitch stream i'll drink and I'm talking, I've gotten pretty drunk streaming on Twitch a few times now. It's a little embarrassing. It, it's fun, though. It's fun. Because guess what? You don't have to deal with someone being in your face. It's mm -hmm. like, you're done. You can go to sleep or you can still hang out. So I love that. I just have one more thing to say. Okay. Oh. And it's for you, Big D. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know. I saw your um, story about uh, video editing and everything like that. Yes. Um, I don't know if you still need help with that, but I know Rachel McKenna is a film major and she's good at that stuff. Okay. So you should probably reach out to her. Okay. All right. I definitely will. I'm looking for right now. I'm just trying to look for someone to help Adam with the regular Degler show. Uh, mm -hmm. Is a lot of editing, which he still wants to do it, but just someone to do little things. So um, I'll definitely look into that. So I appreciate mm -hmm. that. Thank it's you. not like your cast member has a bachelor's degree in broadcast production or anything, but it's. Oh, I I know that, but you're so busy. With I know. I'm just kidding. Molly I'm just Bird. Kidding. You're busy with Molly Bird. So. No, I'm so just kidding. I know. My top for Molly Bird, the big blue couch top that you're supposed to make. You really just don't have a lot of time. Okay, whatever. <laughs> well, but thank you, man. Uh, thank you so much for adding. Little, even though uh, it's, you know nine episodes. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Nice to meet you, Mandy. Nice to meet you. <laughs> okay. Oh. That was good. That wasn't bad. You that were nervous. Bad. He was nervous about that one question. He got nervous. I always get nervous. And it's so funny because like, as soon as I'm about to click, you see all the comments go, look at Big D's face. <laughs> they Yo, SB, Big D gets so nervous. I, I get it. It's scary. It's scary. <laughs> because it's live. <laughs> so you just don't. Like, someone can literally just go, and it's like, oh, 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 like, you know. You know, that's happened to Justin Bieber. One time, Justin, a girl didn't know he was requesting her. And he, or like, added her in. And she was like, getting off, like, masturbating to his live. And it like, went on. And she was like, how are you? And ha didn't realize it until like, after. 
<laughs> so it could happen. You never know. Not X saying he was sweating more than me. Where when he... Piper? Where, where were you? Oh, well, SB, <laughs> thank you for coming. Yeah, oh, thank you guys blue... for having me. This was super fun. Blue couch. It's blue, it's then it's blue white, couch. then it's blue again. Come here. The big blue couch. Oh, I'm, tell people where they can find you. Give us your little, you know, spiel. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> voice that we all love so much. <laughs> so which I'm upset you haven't sung Row, Row, Row the Boat yet. That's the song I need you to drop. Well, um, I actually do sing it quite a lot on my Twitch streams because it's something you can like earn points by talking in my chat and then you can redeem them to get me to do different things. And one of the things you can redeem is having me sing Row, Row, Row Your Boat. And I will sing it. No um, way. And actually, when, yeah, when Kyle was visiting me, someone redeemed it. So me and Kyle sing it together. We made it I love that you <laughs> just, like, you call him Kyle now. You, like, you call him even, Kyle! You don't even, like, like you don't even try. You're like, Kyle, yeah, when Kyle was listening to me, uh-huh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. That was the deal. I, I I, was very serious about it, so. <laughs> but um, you guys can follow me on Instagram here, and then everything is, like, the same username, so it's the SBEEP with the underscore after the B, S B underscore EEP. I'm also on Twitter. That's a really good place. Like, I post more often to Twitter, so if you just want to see more regular updates, that's a good place. Um, I'm also on TikTok. I post some of them also here to Instagram, but some I don't. So there is content you won't see on my Instagram that's on my TikTok. Okay. And then, of course, my Twitch. Uh, that is where I'm very, very active. I stream almost every day. And I stream video games. I just talk. I do. I have a karaoke stream tomorrow night, so I'll oh, just be singing. Fun. Yeah, I'm super excited for that. Um, and again, it's the same username as here on Instagram. And the really cool thing about that is if you join a Twitch stream, then you can also join my Discord server. And like I said, it's a big chat room with a bunch of different people in it. Everyone is super nice and really friendly. You can make a lot of friends and have a little community there for yourself too. So if you want to join my Twitch community, make sure that you follow me on Twitch so you'll be notified of when I'm going live. Aww. Oh, I love that. I do follow you on Twitch, by the way. I do. I do follow you on Twitch. Can, can I watch Twitch from, without, from, from, from. Can I watch Twitch without like me doing the games? Like like it's just oh, like yeah. another like yeah. another like platform to follow people. Yeah. Yeah, it's just live streaming. So okay. you you don't even have to comment or anything. You can just turn it on and listen to it. Oh, okay, cool. I'll do that. I'll do um, I I would love to see it. And you yeah. better invite me to the cafe. I will. Next time we're doing a cafe, I'll invite you. I will. For okay. Sure. Everyone Thomas. wants you to sing this song. <laughs> the Row or Row Your Boat song? <laughs> Even get a little bit. We don't got to get the whole song. We just love the Just the Betray Your Team part. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, do, I'll do the whole song. I don't mind. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. embarrassing. Okay. Okay. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. When the veto earn your safety and betray your team. <laughs> I, love I love it. I need it as a fucking <laughs> code. I need it. I love oh, it. Sarah Beth, thank you so much for coming on to the show. Thank you guys for having me. I love you both. I miss you both. We I love you. you too. Love you. I'll see you soon. I promise. Yes. All right. Bye, baby. Bye. Good night, you guys. Good Bye. Night. Oh, that was so much fun. I loved that live. I love that live. Everyone's doing really good. I think they know we're all about positivity. Now, we have Claire coming in next week. We love Claire, a queen. She better not cancel on us. She better not cancel on us. So everyone heard it first. Claire's next Tuesday. Meanwhile, I canceled on the home. I canceled last week. <laughs> no, it's two of us. So as long as one of us are here, the BBC will always happen. Yes, I am so sorry about that, guys. Again, like I said, I'm trying to get better at being more organized. I bought tickets for the movie two weeks before and didn't even think. And I'm getting better. Yes, I'm so excited. Claire will be here next Tuesday. I love me some Claire Bear. And then hopefully I can get that damn man of hers because I got some hot questions for Derek X and everybody's ready for it. So I feel I like people are starting to add in more questions. And I really, I really loved having SB because I felt like I learned so much from her and Jury. 
And I feel like I learned even more now. You know what I mean? Like to be able, because yeah. I feel like we all know each other so well, but there's still some things we can learn about each other. So yeah. I loved that. I think that's important. I think that's why we use this platform. Of course, we're going to talk about BBC. Um, you know, we're going to talk about what we're doing in our lives. We literally let our guard down and really just say whatever, talk about whatever. That's why we do the BBC. It's 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 fun, but it's also something for people to get to know us raw because we don't have to sit mm -hmm. here an hour and some change, sometimes two hours. Just right. Really and plus, like, we're, we're always uh, talking on um, Big Brother. We're just talking about the show and not what our main general interests are. And so I like that we're able to bring people from our show and people learn about them. I don't know. Don't, it makes my heart happy. Me too. And we're going to get tough questions at time. So, you know, I will post what people we still have left on the lineup on my story, tag you under Alyssa, and let's see what we can do to wrap up the rest of our cast, and then we'll move on to other people. Because who do we have? We have Travis. We have to we bring have Tiff again, because we didn't actually have one with Tiff. No, we actually really didn't have one with Tiff, so I was saving Tiff for last, I told okay. her. So, we I was... Travis, DX, Whitney. Oza, and Kai, and Tiff. Yeah, and Whitney, yeah. And Whitney, yes. Yeah, that's what we have left, so hopefully... We Hopefully we can get everybody else. Did we say we did the whole BBC with everyone? And this was our goal that we talked about in the house. So I know I love it. Um, yeah, we'll have Claire next week, and then we'll try to get Kyle after that, or <laughs> as I call him, Kyron, because I learned that recently. That I love how casually, like she just she just <laughs> says Kyle, like she doesn't even Kyle like, flinch. Doesn't That's reflect. his name in her head. I love it. She don't. She don't even care. She just. Kyle, I'm like <laughs> Kyle. Kyle, she just don't. I love it. I gotta, I gotta name. send her those TikToks. Hopefully, Brittany can help me find it because I think she do really well at it. I think uh, SB could like get viral from it. And getting viral on TikTok nowadays is like a way to be able to get businesses. Yeah, like yeah. hit you up. You know. So. Yeah. Well, hey, that's why I call her SB Savage because she be on it, and that's. Mm -hmm. Savage, she is you. the Britney of Twitch. Yes, she is the Britney of Twitch. And I'm excited for Claire because I don't know what Claire's been doing. So I'm True. excited. And I love Claire. So I'm excited to talk to Claire. I'm excited. Me and Claire bonded a lot in jury. So I'm excited oh. to see what questions people have. Probably a lot of just what she's been up to and stuff. Yeah. So I miss Claire. I do miss her. I mean, we were supposed to do so much stuff, you know? But she got kidnapped. <laughs> <laughs> got taken away. Her. DX is the lady killer. He got Claire. <laughs> Took her right we away. wanted Claire, but DX stole her from us. Hey, I'm like, Claire, stay over here with me on our <laughs> side. <laughs> DX is like, no, come <laughs> over here. And I'm like, I mean, wouldn't you steal Claire too, though? I would steal Claire, mm -hmm. to be honest. I want her on so I can try to steal her, you know what I'm saying? Let me tell you something, man. Tell All you, right. You missed well, out. We, we were supposed to be dating. You missed out. I know. I know. I just can't date right now <laughs> because I was dating five people at once and I had no idea. Five people at once. <laughs> <laughs> but everyone go buy your fans. Please go buy your fan. The, the link is at the bottom. As we said, she was still clear. Um, yes, <laughs> the link is at the bottom. Um, so, yeah, let's get these fans going. They come in January 10th. Get them while they're hot. Cause, um. Also, with the new year, Molly Bird is having a 50% off sale, which we've never done before. It's a really huge sale. It's not going to be for long. So go ahead and check it out. The code is MB2022. I have or 2022. We tried on your swimsuit, so I had to send you the picture. <laughs> I didn't try it on because it would have disappeared if I tried it on, but Adam tried it on and it looks great. <laughs> okay, send me the photos. All right. I love you. Good night. Thank love you. Guys. you. And we Bye, everyone. And we love you guys. Bye. Bye.